Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to our channel, where we share our travel adventures with you. In this video, we are going to take you along on our first day of our incredible seven-night cruise to Alaska on board the Quantum of the Seas. This ship is one of the most innovative and advanced in the world, and it offers so many amazing features and activities that you'll never get bored. We visited three charming cities in Alaska, Sitka, Ketchikan, and Juneau, as well as the beautiful Victoria in Canada. This cruise was a dream come true for our family, and we can't wait to share it with you. We started our adventure in Seattle, the Emerald City, where we arrived from Las Vegas. We took the light rail from the airport to downtown, which was super convenient and cheap. It only cost us $3 per person and took about 40 minutes. This was much more affordable than taking an Uber ride, which would have cost us around $60 for almost the same time. We decided to fly to Seattle one day before our cruise departure because we wanted to dodge any drama on the embarkation day, like flights going AWOL. We also wanted to have a good time in the city and check out its attractions. Besides, we were eager to board the ship early so we can start the relaxation mode sooner. You should also be aware that downtown Seattle is not flat, so the distance from your train stop to your final destination might be uphill. A good tip is to compare the cost of a short Uber ride from the train stop to your hotel or the pier, with the cost of an Uber ride all the way from the airport. You might save some money by doing this. We checked out the famous Pike Place Market, one of the oldest continuously operating farmers markets in the US, and it's also home to the original Starbucks store. Seattle is famous for its amazing attractions like the Space Needle and the Museum of Pop Culture, its musical heritage with legends like Jimi Hendrix and Nirvana, and its coffee scene with Starbucks and many other local roasters. Then we walked along the waterfront and enjoyed the views of the bay and the skyline. We decided to hop on the Seattle Great Wheel, which is a giant Ferris wheel that gives you a 360 degree panorama of the city. The Seattle Great Wheel is one of the largest Ferris wheels in North America, and it has 42 climate-controlled gondolas that can fit up to 8 people each.
The next day, we took an Uber to the Royal Caribbean Pier, which is also known as Smith Cove Cruise Terminal at Pier 91. The price for the ride was around $20. This terminal is located at the north end of Seattle's waterfront on historic Smith Cove, and it serves as the home port for several cruise lines, including Carnival, Celebrity, Holland America, Princess, and Disney. We joined the line to go through security, which took about 40 minutes. That's not bad for a cruise with almost 4,000 guests, right? Our ship was just chillin' there waiting for us, looking all majestic and stuff. Tip, don't forget to print your luggage tags and stick M on your bags. It'll save you time and hassle. We did that, so we just dropped our bags off at the entrance and they took M to our room. Oh, and print your boarding pass too, because even though it's available on the app, the reception at the terminal is pretty sketchy. Our luggage and keys were already there when we arrived, so we didn't have to waste any time. We were thrilled with our stateroom, which was spacious, clean and cozy. The room had plenty of storage for our stuff, but not enough hangers, so we got creative. The bathroom was also a good size and had shelves for our toiletries. The balcony had a stunning view of the ocean and had comfy seats. There was also a safe for our valuables and a fridge for our son's milk. And guess what? All the tickets for the attractions we booked using the Royal Caribbean app were in our room as well. How awesome is that? We couldn't wait to explore the ship and have a blast. So that's it for our first day of our cruise. We had a wonderful time exploring Seattle and boarding the Quantum of the Seas. The ship departed on time, and we got a nice view of Seattle from the water. It was a beautiful sight to see the city skyline and the Space Needle fading away as we sailed towards Alaska. Stay tuned for more videos of our amazing trip to Alaska on board the Quantum of the Seas. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.